Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Food Junkie coming at you with another video. Once again, the streets are buzzing. Once again, the streets are talking. Once again, the streets are spewing bullshit and receipts out. Everyone has a everyone has an opinion about it. This is mine. But I'm trying to come at it from a different angle, from a different way. Okay, let's talk about it. Let me start by saying hurt people hurt people. Damaged people who have not healed continue to live in that cycle of damage and destruction. Destroying themselves, destroying others, destroying relationships, destroying situations. Now, this video is not specifically about anyone. This video is about what I have, I have observed here on these YouTube streets equating to everyone now see how easy that was make your turn to keep it moving um yeah hurt people hurt people I've said in plenty of videos before I am not exempt from anything that's going on here on YouTube I'm not exempt from talking shit, being positive, being constructive, being destructive. I'm not exempt from critical thinking. I'm not exempt from flying off the handle and just talking on the side of my neck. I'm not exempt. I'm human. I'm not perfect. I will make mistakes. But two content creators that I watch Two different styles, but still the same person. One is older, one is younger. Had beef. People are making it about a third content creator. It's not about them at all. It's about these two individual content creators. One has hurt feelings. One has hurt that has not yet been resolved. Now, every time I see this other one of the YouTuber content creators, they're always stopping off. Everything is a fight. Everything is a battle. Now, I like um, their content. Don't get me wrong. I like the fire in them. I like the fact that they stand up for themselves. I like the fact that they um, are boisterous. I like the fact that they have an opinion and don't mind expressing that opinion. Quick witted, funny, can drag, can read, somewhat informative, you know. But this is YouTube. I take everything on this channel, on this platform, with a grain of salt, as everyone should. I eat the meat. And spit out the bones. I take in what nourishes and entertain me and discard the rest, as everyone should. But let's say the younger YouTuber is not there yet mentally, emotionally, socially. I once was this younger YouTube creator, content creator. Everything that I came across was a what? What you say? Oh hell no! Fuck that shit! Da -da 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 oh, that was me all day long, all day every day. And at times, I can still revert back to that. But as I got older, I start realizing that not every fight is my fight to fight. Not everything that I say is meant to be heard, to be said, because it's not important to anyone else but me. It's not important but for me to deal with it, expound upon it, and get the results that I need to get to make my life better. Now the older YouTuber, let's say, wise, spiritual, a lovely person, sees themselves in the younger YouTuber sees how the younger YouTuber is moving in 
and recognize the moves because they once have done the same thing. They once moved the same way. They were once each other. Now, when the older YouTuber offers some advice to the younger YouTuber, the younger YouTuber chose to take offense to it. It was a choice. You had three options. To take it, observe it, get what you can from it, discard the rest, pop off, or ignore it altogether. That's what your choices were. You chose to pop off because you're no punk bitch. You're not going to let anyone tell you how to do it because that's not how you roll. That's not what you do. You better, get the rec you better get to know who the fuck I am. Who are you? Like all of us, we're content creators. And we can do whatever we want to do, however we want to do it, whenever we want to do it, on these YouTube streets. It makes no sense to me why this is even going on. Hurt people hurt people. I watch content creators continuously because I see something in you that I recognize. I recognize it within myself, within my environment, within my social, economical, and financial circles. It's not good, it's not bad, it's just that I recognize it. Either involving me, involving someone that I know, someone that I love, and I recognize that behavior. I recognize the pain. I recognize the hurt. I recognize the aggression. Not everything is for you to prove that you're no punk bitch. Not everything is for you to prove that you can't be fucked with, or can't be messed with, or can't be, you know, saying taken down. It's funny to me, not in a ha 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 way. It's funny to me as a way like, like, wow. These people on this YouTube thing are really hurt, really damaged. People have been saying mental illness is some serious on these YouTube streets. And I took it as a joke initially. And I'm starting to realize that it's not a joke. There's actually some mental illness on these YouTube streets. There has to be a mental illness if we think that what we do on a daily basis is so worthy of people watching and following that we choose to go beyond the scope and the realm of who we are to get clicks and views. Or even if you choose to show who you truly are, if that's who you truly are, you know, to get clicks and views. My platform is tiny, small, minuscule. I'm okay with that. If it grows, it grows. If it doesn't, it doesn't. In my first several videos, I said, I'll make the same content and do the same things with my two, three, four, five followers as I do with my 5,000, 50,000, 500,000, 5 million followers. It's going to be the same content. That's why I make the same jokes in my um, thing that say, I have more videos than I have views. I have, more, I have more videos than I have subscribers. Because I'm doing this because this is what I want to do. I'm on my way to work, talking about what I've seen and what I've run across on YouTube. Sprinkling in with a little bit of my life as well. You know, like last Friday, it was my birthday, so I wanted to share that with you. I wanted you to come and have dinner with me. I wanted you to experience what I did for my birthday. That was a choice. So my channel is really things like that. Pretty much me talking about what I've experienced and what I ran across on YouTube, sprinkled in with life events, life happenings with me. That's what this channel is about. And what I've seen on YouTube so far 
has been sad since my, I last came to you with a video. It seems as though every other day there is nonsense, there is turmoil, there is destruction and divisiveness happening on YouTube. Are we so destructive as people that we can't just be happy and get along with each other? Sorry, get along with each other? Are we so divisive and destructive amongst each other that we can't look within and say, damn, that hurt my feelings? And opposed to snapping off on someone, we just say, that hurt my feelings. I'm hurt by what you said. I'm hurt by what you did. Why did you attack me? I feel attacked. I don't understand that. Opposed to just using our words as adults, we choose to combat at each other with a vicious, vitriol language and words to show what? That we're bad, that we're grown, that we aren't no punk bitches. Yeah, I did warn people, don't use my name in a negative way because I will come at you. And I will. But I know exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And if it ever happens to where I have to go that route with you, you would definitely understand why I'm doing it. There will be no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There will be no, oh my God, you came from nowhere. That's why I say at the end of my videos, all my videos, if you like what I'm saying, please go to my channel and then subscribe, like, share, and comment. Because I'm telling you exactly who I am what I am, what I'm going to do. I'm not trying to trick you. I'm not trying to bait and switch you. I'm not trying to do those things. You know? This past weekend, I gained a lot of followers. Still very tiny, but I gained a lot of followers over this weekend because I was in a certain individual's um, live chat. People liked what I had to say. But what's so funny is, not only did I gain a lot of followers, I lost a lot of followers as well. Because while I spoke my mind and spoke my truth on this person's live chat, I guess people thought that coming to my channel, you're going to get that same type of energy and that same type of emotion and that same type of um, combative. I don't think it was combative, but that same type of energy was not on my channel. My name is Food Junkie. Food meaning to nourish. Food meaning to build up and build muscles and strength. That's what this channel is about. Building. Give you something that you can use to help you be stronger. Help you be better. That's why in every other video I say, eat the meat and spit out the bones. Literally or figuratively. Food. It's a play on words. My channel is not about the mess, about the nonsense, about the individuals. That's why you very rarely hear me mention people's names. I make content based on things that I see, things that I've seen, and I'm very clear based on how I describe things that people who know me knows what I'm talking about. People that knows this sector of YouTube know who I'm talking about and what I'm talking about. If I chose a clout chase, I would put people's names all throughout my videos and all throughout my channels titles and I don't do that for reasons. I don't want anyone to think that I'm coming at them personally because it's not a personal attack against anyone. I don't know you. This is YouTube. This is virtual. You put an image on the screen. I watch the image. I comment on the image that I see. Do I know your likes, your dislikes, your loves, your hates, your fears, your emotional state? No. I, I can come to an, a conclusion based on what I see or what I think it is, I could be completely wrong, or I could be completely right. I would never know, nor would I ever care enough until we become friends where we can actually have a conversation and communicate with each other face-to-face, one-on-one. Not everything that needs to be discussed needs to be discussed on this camera. Not everything that needs to be talked about needs to be talked about on this camera. 
or, or in a virtual world. That's how misunderstandings happen. That's how all these beefs start to happen. People aren't adult enough or strong enough. I don't care how much strength you choose to portray on strong enough to email someone. Do you mind if we discuss this situation? Do you mind if we talk about this right here? Especially if you're trying to build, build a friendship or a relationship that you, that's worth anything to you. That's why I say all the time, what you do to them, you're most likely to do to me. Who am I? I'm not special to you. Because people that you loved and respected and rocked with was special enough to you so that you don't have to do it to them. I'm just some very small YouTuber in the virtual world. A tiny metros um, metroscopic being in a virtual world. And so are you. You just don't realize it. You think you're more than what you are. And that's not saying you individual as an individual person. I mean you as the whole. We are all very tiny specks of dust on a beach of sand. One person plucked out is not going to change the situation. One person doing something different is not going to change the whole scope of the YouTube thing. Very few people have done that. Very few. You see everybody doing roast and gag videos. Can someone tell me who was the actual first one to do a roast and gag video? You see everyone's doing social commentary. Can you tell me who the first person was to actually do social commentary? Everyone's doing mukbang videos. Can you tell me who was the first person to, to do a mukbang video? It becomes murky when everyone's doing it. So when one person's plucked out of that, no one really cares. Not everyone knows who the first person to do it ever was, especially in this virtual world. Things are constantly changing. Things are constantly happening. People may not always know who you are. And back to the whole hurt people, hurt people thing. My nose itches. Sorry, <laughs> my nose itches. Um, let's talk about that for a moment. Let's dive into it a little bit deeper. There are several people on this YouTube genre, platform, that um, are damaged and living in their damage. There are very, there's a lot of people on this YouTube platform who think that being loud and being aggressive shows that you're strong, shows that you have strength. I'm not calling you weak, so please don't take that. Don't please don't take my words out of context and how I mean them to be. Loud and aggression does not equate strength. Loud and aggressive does not equate you're a badass. Yes, it's a way to get people up off you, but it does not equate strength whatsoever in the least. You going and doing what you know, what you have been shown, what strength looks like in your eyes, in your small scope of, and mind, what strength is. Strength is being able to apologize when you're wrong. Strength is being able to tr genuinely apologize when you're wrong. Not, well, I'm sorry, then finally later snap it off on somebody, on the same person that you just apologized to. That's not strength. That's aggression and delusion. That's pain. And watching what went down over the past couple of days, I saw a lot of pain, present and past, I saw a lot of aggression. I see, watching a lot of YouTubers that I watch, I see a lot of pain, a lot of pain, a lot of aggression, a lot of misplaced anger, a lot of misplaced emotions, a lot of emotions that we don't know what to do with, that we don't know how to handle or package and deal with it within ourselves. I saw a lot of that. I see a lot of that on these YouTube streets. You know, and I don't want to call anyone's name because it's on all sides. It's on every aspect of it. One person that I like, that I will call their name, that I watch, is fucking Ali. He 
shows who he is. Past, present, future. From crying on, on the camera, talking about his um, childhood, talking about his experiences in life, talking about his struggles, likes and dislikes for um, using drugs, his uh, life as an accountant, his life as a YouTube person. He put himself out there for as an example. He makes a comment all the time when he says, don't let people spray you with your own mess. And I take that for him saying, deal with what you need to deal with before you try, before someone else tries to use it against you. I wrote a book. And the purpose of my me writing a book was to do exactly that. It was a book of poetry called Thoughts of a Sorry, thoughts of a man, prayers, poems, and words inspired by life. Actually, let's give it a look right here. I'm taking it to work because I tell people all the time about it, and people wanted to see it. This is the book right here that I wrote. This is my copy of the book. And I go back to read it every so often because there is a lot that needs to be said and done in this book. And in doing that, and in doing so, I learned to deal with things how I need to deal with them in order for me to be okay, to be who I am. Now, with Funky, he chose YouTube to get his emotions and feelings and stuff out. I chose a book form to get mine out. It's all out there. No one can use anything that I say, how I feel, what I do against me. That's why I say I don't care if someone chooses to try to come at me in a way that's not cool. I will get you up off me quickly, maybe aggressively, <laughs> but it's not with malicious intent. I come at you, well, I inform you first to let you know who I am and what I'm going to do. Through all my videos, I warn people, don't use my name in an aggressive, nasty, demeaning, ugly manner. If you do that, I'm going to get you up off me quickly and harshly. I say that. I warn you on that. I'm not big and bad either. You know, I could be handled. You know, but I understand that about, about myself. I understand that. I live with that. I deal with that. I truly get that. I don't want people to think that I want, I believe that I'm perfect or I don't make mistakes. No, I am flawed. From the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep, I am flawed. I make mistakes throughout the day. But my blessing is being able to recognize those mistakes and try to do better the next time. And try not to make the same mistakes over and over and over again. What I have recognized on these YouTube streets is that people are not true to who they are. They're so afraid for people to see them for who they are, afraid that people may not like them because they may, have, may not have been liked in the past. I hear what people say. I watch what they do. And then I also hear what they don't say. People have said on these YouTube streets, well, I have had low self-esteem in my past. Now I don't. People have said, oh, well, I didn't, I, I, I didn't like myself prior to now. The same people who say that are the same people that goes hard on these streets. Going as hard as people go for no reason is a sign of low self-esteem at some point in your life. I say it now, but at some point in your life, you have had low self-esteem and did not like yourself. So what you do is you go hard to distract from ever feeling that way again. No one can make you feel any way that you don't feel. No one can ever make you do anything that you don't want to do. They can. They don't have the power to. You shouldn't give them the power to do that. You shouldn't give people power over you. 
you should not you should not give people power to make you dislike yourself, to doubt yourself, to embarrass you. Once you understand that you can't please everybody, you'll be okay. You'll be cool. You'll be all right. As long as you truly love yourself unconditionally, what someone else thinks about you means nothing to you, has nothing to do with you. Like I said, I know people that don't like me for various reasons. Some may be valid, some are invalid. To me, to them, it may be totally valid. But guess what? I don't care. I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? I want you to get to know me. I have a, I have a saying in my life, my real, real life. I don't want to be liked. I'd rather be, I'd rather, I'd rather be respected. Respect me, because if you respect me, you're gonna understand what I do is not out of malicious intent. What I do is not to berate you or to, or to belittle you. It is for you to understand what I'm saying, for you to understand who I am. My life does not revolve around anyone else but me, as your life should not revolve around anyone else but you. You know, we're so busy trying to be liked. We're so busy trying to be understood by everyone all the time. Not recognizing or realizing that not everything is for us to be understood, or not everything is to be understood by everyone all the time. We are individuals for a reason. We have our own opinions, our own thought processes. We think differently from one another. We love differently from one another. We hurt differently. We all have pain, yes. But my pain is no greater than your pain, and vice versa. Your pain is no different than my pain. But if I respect your pain, respect your love, respect your fears, respect your happinesses and things like that, I'm going to respect you as an individual. I'm going to learn to accept you as the individual that you are. And that's what we must learn to start doing. Respecting each other for our differences. Respecting each other for who we are. For what we are. For why we are. We're not here for everyone to like all the time. Hurt people hurt people. I know it's a cliche. It has nothing to do with anything else. But we recognize the hurt in someone. We, re we, re we also recognize their aggression, their anger, their loneliness, their feeling of worthy worthlessness. We understand those things about people. Once we start recognizing those things within ourselves, we can see that in other people. And I want to say, between these two content, content creators, no one's right in the situation, no one's wrong in the situation. You're both coming from a place where you are. For the older one, I definitely enjoy your content. I definitely respect where you come, where you came from, where you are going, where you've been, how you deliver your messages and your content on your channel, how you help or want to help other people. But at some point, you need to allow people to sit and live and breathe and reside in their own mess. You can't save everyone. You can't help everyone. Not everyone wants to be helped. So all you do is put information out there, and hopefully they receive it in the way that what you intended it. And if they don't, wash your hands up. It has nothing to do with you. And to the younger one, I respect you as well. I respect what you're saying. I respect how you deliver it based on where you are right now in your life and where your mindset is. That's not a put down. That's not a read. That's not a roast. That's not a gag. There is a saying. When you know better, you do better. And I'm saying you, you don't know better. You can choose to do what you want to do. But not every fight is yours to fight. And when you know more, learn more, 
grow a little bit more, you, this is going to be something that you not, I won't say regret, because hopefully you don't regret anything in your life, and hope you learn from it. But as an older person, as a younger person, we're all still growing. We're all still developing who we're going to be, who we're meant to be. We're all striving and going down that path to become that person, to become that individual. We are not here as whole human beings. We need people around us who are there for us to teach us, to learn from, to teach, to share information from. I learn from everybody and everything that I come across. Younger, older, same age, same age group. I learn from everyone. I can be taught something from everyone and anyone. I am not so grown to where I can't learn from someone that's younger than me. I'm not so grown to where I can't learn from and connect with someone younger than me. And I'm not so grown that to where I can't recognize where I can learn something from someone older than me as well. I am not done growing. I am not done maturing. I am not done, you know what I'm saying, seeking information. I live for learning something new daily. Seeing something new daily. Having a different understanding for something daily. That's what I do. I would never be, be um, done learning, growing, developing into the person that I am. I will always be seeking better information, more information, a clarification on information. I will always be seeking to gain, you know, knowledge, understanding. It's not a weak thing. It's not something that makes me less than or hinders me in my growth process. That is my growth process. To know that I don't know it all. To know that I don't have all the answers. To know that there's a different way of doing something, a different way of speaking to someone, a different way of communicating with someone, a different way of connecting with someone. How I've done it may have worked for the moment, it doesn't mean it's going to always work the same way with everyone. You need to learn how, we all need to learn how to move strategically and differently with each individual, each individual that we come across. Yes, our feelings may be the same. Our reactions have to be different. We are not done growing, learning, developing into who we are meant to be. Every day that we are blessed to breathe in and out, we are blessed to learn something new and different. Oh, my nose! Shit! I'm trying to be deep and have boogers in my nose. I hope you all see them. <laughs> yeah, it's just something that I won't say saddens me because it's not that serious. So I don't know you guys like that. I like your content. I like you as content creators. But no one's wrong. Could things have been said differently on both sides? Yes. Could things have been communicated in a different way on both sides? Definitely, yes. Now, I will say to the more mature one, I should say, or as the one older by age, not by whatever, anything else, um, based on what the young person has done, how they've been moving on these streets, you have to realize that you're not, you know, special to them. They handle every individual with a disagreement they have the same way they do. They handle everyone that they, that they, that they disagree with the same exact way. So, as I say, what makes me special if you start to disagree with me? 
discernment, you can't help everybody. Not, every, not everyone wants help. Not everyone seeks help when you want to give it to them. All you could have been was open. You both were hurt for various reasons. You both responded and reacted differently to your hurt. But yet, you both reacted the same once it became too much hurt for you to deal with. Cussing, screaming, calling each other out their names. Was it right? It ain't my place to say. Was it wrong? It definitely not my place to say. But like I said, I like both of you. I like both of your content. I think both of you are entertaining. I think both of you are um, intelligent, interesting. One second, I'm going to real quick. I think you both have a valid points that you made, but at the same time, is your past pain worth jeopardizing future relationships? No. It's just my question to ask. It's not my place to judge. It's not my place to talk about. It's not my place to, well, this is my place to talk about. This is not my place to judge. It's not my place to say who's right, who's wrong. I'm just commenting, giving commentary on what I've seen, what I see, what I've ran across. Yeah. I just hope that we, as a people, can learn to stop jumping first into things in a negative way that does not affect us in a personal way. You know, having someone's opinion about me on YouTube does not change my opinion about myself. I know who I am. I know what I do. I know what I'm about. I know that. And when someone tells you or shows you who they are, it's up to us to believe that each and every time. It's up to us to understand and recognize that and deal with that each and every time. Like I said, hurt people hurt people. We're all hurt and damaged in some way, shape, or form. Are you going to deal with that pain? So you don't move throughout your life inflicting that same pain on other people? Or are you not going to deal with it or acknowledge it and still react the same way? When you know better, you do better. And hopefully you will be better as an individual, as a person. This is not a read or a roast. This is not clout chasing. This is not none of those things. It's just simply me commenting on what I've seen, what I've run across. You know, there's other things I've run across as well that I may make another video on my way home from work tonight. But this is what was heavy on my heart today at this moment. I wish you both luck. I wish everyone involved.